Well done, Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Home again at last. Now we'll give the Dragon Tonic to Norbert. We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. I'm glad he's better, but sad in a sad in a sad in a way. He's old enough to leave the nest and fend for himself now. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul, but I want to keep him here so I can look after him. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoilt brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner.
That oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember these woods can be very dangerous. Thank <laughs> you. 
Incendio! Nintendo! I see you found the Unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the Unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Rowena Ravenclaw, medieval, dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. 
Firenze explained that unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Vold, I mean, he who must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be Snape's after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. Nice one, Harry. You've got the beans we needed. The portrait password is Wolf Spain. Thanks for the beans, Harry. We'll make sure they find a good home. Have you heard the rumour? There's a troll on the loose around here. Smells worse than Percy's socks, and that's saying something.
Wolfsbane. By Jupiter, you've done it, young Gryffindor!